welcome everybody to the Monday, August 1st, 2022 meeting of the Conference Board. All the meetings in order. First item on the agenda is minutes. Why can we switch the items on the agenda around? Um, vote to but Everybody get a chance to look at the minutes of July 18. Yes. Okay with everybody? Yes. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of July 18. Aye. Warrants, we have four, uh, four, three. An accounts payable warrant in the amount of $340,286.23. Payroll warrant in the amount of $108,254.73. We roll deduction warrant in the amount of $26,868.34. Very briefly, we got a chance to look at them and kind of press off the presses, but the way we usually do it is we approve them so we can do payroll this week and then if we have any questions about it. Um, get those questions answered. They look like me. So I move that we approve the warrants. Second. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 It's unanimous. Meetings attended by select board members. Chris? Uh, I went to the MSA select board yes, uh, association <laughs> training for newly uh, hired uh, select board the members. The baby select board members. Yes. One. yes. It, uh, it, it was a good meeting. I met a lot of people. And um, like you said, the most interesting part were the uh, the open meeting laws. Um, we also went over, you know, municipal finance, which is very typical. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was good. It was a good training session. Yeah, but when you hear the horror stories about that other towns have to deal with, with people who we're, we're yes. just really lucky that we had that at the school when somebody put in a request for emails of the superintendent from the beginning of the internet and the beginning of the creation of emails to the present. Mm -hmm. like things like that. <laughs> and, and courts have said, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no problem. But you can charge yes. for the work of doing that. You can't, because I know, yeah. yeah. For the time. And the, yeah. yeah. It can't be exorbitant. Yes. But yeah, we yeah. definitely, because I've worked at places where we feel like we're happy to fulfill that request, but this is how much it's going to cost because that's how much time it's going to take. Uh, that's the only meeting I've attended in the last two years. I went to the uh, Habitat for Humanity uh, wall raising um, meeting and uh, got to meet the new family that's moving in. They're awesome. Went to the Furcog. It was typically horrible. Was it was hard. horrible is an exaggeration. I just if there was if the alternate was around, I would have foisted it on the alternate. Let's just say that. <laughs> but, uh, um, um, let's see what else. Public comments. That's your first meeting. So is Marilyn. Unfinished business. Not that I know of. New business. Move the forest and trails item up first. Forest and trails committee is here. Well, several of them, Marilyn and Deb, um, to discuss access or lack of access to the Fournier property. Well, yeah. we actually have a we actually have a number of items that we thought we we need to cover tonight too. Um, first up is we've had a change in the committee members. Paul Charest, um retired after his one year term and we appointed Courtney Gilligan, who was one of our associates. So is that okay with you guys? Do you have to approve it or? Most importantly, Courtney's dog is awesome. Pepper, I, I love Pepper. So Pepper is a close companion, walking dog of my dog. <laughs> so yes, that is, that is very good. Yeah, she's yeah. an awesome, awesome addition. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, 
Do I just do we have to officially adopt her? Yeah, yeah. To approve her rather. Sorry. All right. I'm, I move to adopt Courtney <laughs> <laughs> and Pepper. Yeah, I'll second. All right. right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Courtney is adopted. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> second up is one of the things we want to do on the Fournier Trail is to put a little a little side trail off to the ice pond. And in order to do that, we need to cross the outlet from the pond. So it's a little bit of a wetland area there. And I've been talking to Jack Lockhead. Have, have you any of you guys walked his swamp trail? Yeah, actually, the, what he did with that is really neat. Yeah. And I rented that house for, I don't know, five years or something like that. Before that, was, and, and I didn't even know that was there. And I used to walk in those woods all the time. Um, and uh, now I go there past the house I used to rent to the trail that I never saw when I lived there, but and I love. So there you go. Yeah. So he made these cool little foot bridges with logs and two by sixes. Um, and I think that's all we need to get across the, the little outlet stream. It's, it's totally dry now and it's never more than about four or five inches deep, even in the spring. So in order to do this, because it's a wetland area, I presume we have to check out with the Conservation Commission and fill out a request for determination. Do you agree with that? Um, if that's what it is, then that's what it is. I don't. I would certainly approach yeah, them. And, yeah. I, I know it's yeah. probably, even if, if you're unsure, it's probably best to ask. Yeah. Um, that's you know, as you are another town committee, but. Um, right. And, and yeah, or, or even just, you know, call up Bruton or just Bob Armstrong or whatever, maybe just one or maybe you might be able to get an advisory thing just whether or not you have to apply. Yeah, I asked him and he said, fill out the form. So, yeah. and send in a $70 check. So. <laughs> what that, did he understand that you were a town committee? I did say I was part of a town committee, so. Yeah. Do you want me to approach him again and really emphasize that? Yeah, I'd be surprised because the town doesn't usually charge the town for things like yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that's okay. that, that doesn't make any sense when you think about it. Um, okay. So. Yeah, I wondered about that. Okay. Okay, let me let me approach him again and see if we can just get some advice on that. Um, we're well below the you know, where it's natural heritage and stuff. So I don't really see, and we're gonna be using, you know, wood that's from the woods there. So I don't see any real conflict with conservation. So, all right, I will approach him again. Um, and third on my agenda is, um, so we're moving ahead with this project and the teacher's really excited and she's put together a curriculum Ron promised safe access a year ago. Um, more than that, more than that. Yeah. That was just you. Yeah. There, was, there was promises to others before that. Yeah. So, um, you know, we're going to have kids going out there. There yeah. has been movement. It's gotten more dangerous. The access has gotten actually more dangerous. Than yes, I know. There's a 30 foot pile 50 feet behind the jungle gym now. Yeah. 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 And the and the uh, the snow plows that just appear out of nowhere with sharp jagged metal just like ready to cut into your lower legs that you can't even see those are great too so i don't i'm i'm at a you know i don't know what to do next on that part and, and any suggestions or help you guys can give would be awesome i would suggest that ron and you and i meet and Go up there, and, yeah. Sorry, am I not being loud enough? Yeah. No, no, you know, this, you broke this, is, this is a known thing, and this has been on his list. And I remember asking him about it last year. You know, are you still going to get to that? You're going to get to that because he's got to do the fence. He's got to make the fence along the driveway between the driveway and the playground more permanent. That cannot be a year-round broken down, junky-looking snow fence, snow yeah. drift fence. That you know, he yeah. said that, yeah. that was whatever. Um, I'll be away next, well, the end of this week. Um, so perhaps we could set up something for the end of next week. Would that work? Uh, yeah, possibly, yeah. 
I yeah. mean, you know, it's not later, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, seriously, the only way he gets away with this is because we have a school that kids can't walk to or ride their bikes to, you know? They have to be driven there by adults. That walk that trail, though, all the kids from Reedsbridge Road and um, yeah, you know, that, that walk that trail to school. I used to walk that trail with my kid every day. To, well, to school. Um, I just, you know, I, I, I worry about the safety of that. So, yeah. okay, uh, we'll get together then on that. Um, Marilyn wants to talk about other grants too. We're talking about, you know, doing some invasive removal and planting some native plants in its place, that, which, which may take some money. Marilyn, and there, it doesn't say she's muted, but it doesn't I, say you're muted, you. but, but nobody can hear you. Yeah. There are all sorts of grants available through DCR and through, you know, various other mechanisms. There you are. In and out. There's static and pop and clicks, but no Marilyn yet. She was yellow for a second, so check her microphone briefly. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Well, I'll try and take over here. Um, so grants, especially if ones that are like, you know, 75, 25 reimbursement. I want to know match. the proceed. Yeah. You mean match? Match. So, I mean, that, matching. that was the thinking behind your getting, you know, in the budget this year that you, that you were going to, that, that most grants require some type of match. And right. Um, you know, the ones that are 90, 10 are always better than the ones that are 75, 25 or 50, 50. Right. But, um, you know, and look around, but that is what, yeah. you know, the, your committee has $400 had as for, I don't know what was spent out of it, but you had a, yeah. you, you know, the, you, you were well, downtown just, meeting voted them $400. It was just this year. So it's this fiscal year that it came in. So if they haven't spent anything since July yeah. 1st, right. it's $400. And so yeah. that, that is up to your committee as to how okay. it gets spent. But I'm so, very much in favor of, you, you, you know, doing grants is for a committee to write their own grants and then to get them awarded. That's. So good. do we have to go before the town hall, uh, town meeting at all for any of this? Because we heard through the finance committee that we'd have to do a warrant. And especially if it's, you know, if we ask for a grant that's slightly larger than the money we have in our account. Any grant should be approved by the select board. Anybody asking for a grant? In other words, right. I, I, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the, the select board has to sign off on a grant at some yeah. point. Um, but that, that if, 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 it, if the matching, if the match is less than $400, then there's nothing for town meeting to approve. No, not town meeting. The only thing I would say is that I, I'm not 100%, um, I'd have to check with Mike about, for instance, in under the 150 account, there's um, like $8,000 for grant match administration under my account administration. So um, I don't know that what line, we didn't put anything in specifically under forest and trails for what that money would be spent on. So I don't think it'd be an issue, but I'd want to check with Mike first. And if for some reason it was, then you know, we could probably take that on my line. Yeah. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah. And so that's even, you know, that's a lot even of, better. That's even better. Yeah. And a lot of um, matching funds can be volunteer hours too, which that's awesome. adds up pretty quickly. Yeah. On on these things. So okay. So yes. you don't think yeah. we'll need right right them right for them all then. Just you know, whatever you whatever yeah. you're thinking, write them okay. all and bring them by the select board just yeah. so they can and just bring them by you. Okay. All right, that's awesome. Um. Uh, and website development, Veronique. I I hear you signed the contract. You guys signed the contract. We did. We're going to be a dot go. We're going to be a dot go very soon. <laughs> yes, we will be Conway Ma dot gov. 
Um, and uh, so Montague Web Works, who uh, the select board signed a contract with to provide the hosting and the migration to the new website and design. They're starting to work on it already. There's a lot that has to happen behind the scenes. Yeah. So I'm expecting the whole process to be about three to six months. Okay. It may be um, I'd rather six, under six promise. Yeah. <laughs> it's like data there. So yeah. Yeah. A lot behind the scenes, but then, yeah. it, you know, don't forget the select board and other people would like to see it before it goes live. So there's going to be some back and forth. So I want to give yeah. us yeah, a reasonable time frame. Um, at, is there any point where we can kind of give some input as to how, because uh, we're still talking about doing QR codes on the trail, uh, how that they that part gets structured under forest and trails? Page. If it's just a matter of, of wanting to add QR codes, that should not be a problem. As a matter of fact, um, Thad and um, Nelson did that um, with some postcards that they sent out for the town meeting and it had a QR code and people were able to go right to the um, right. town website. Yeah, we uh, just have to make sure we, we have the exact names yeah of the page and things yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, to answer your question, Marilyn, no, it's not going to be WordPress anymore. It's going to be um, Rocket Fusion, which is done by Montague Web Webworks. And they have other towns like Greenfield and the um, Franklin County Solid Waste Management District. I think they have the FERCOG. They have a lot of too. local towns, a lot of local towns. Yeah. And they have the FERCOG and it works well. Yeah. Yeah. And at some point, we'd be able to edit pages and things, or the Absolutely. school can add things. Awesome. In theory, you can edit pages on WordPress as well. And some people right. know it better than others, but it's this one is much, in my opinion, is much more user friendly. That's good. Especially for novice users such as myself. Yes, absolutely. Perfect. You can create new pages and we can do links. There's, the, yeah. So, and there will be, once we get close to, um, you know, launching the site, there will certainly be trainings for, you know, one of the things Great. that that um, Adam will be doing is asking all the committees and boards and everybody who actually wishes to um, be able to edit their pages. Some people are really interested in doing it and others are like, I, I just want to send it to you and you post it. Um, so once we get that information, then we'll know who needs to be or who wants to be trained on the new website. Excellent. Okay, um, I think that's all I had then. You answered all my questions. Wow. So, okay. that's it. That's good, for I me. suppose. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, she's a thanks. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> um, we'll, try, I'll, we'll try to get with Ron as soon as, you know. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. Give me a call tomorrow. Yeah, I will. I, you know, I in the past, school related things with him tended to get done shortly before school opens. <laughs> um, even though the summer seems like there's plenty of time to do it, it was always it's always. But 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 I mean that's really what it's for. It's for the children. So right, um, right. It's got to be ready. The time that they use it has always been September and October when it's the weather's just right for it so yeah all right can't be what holds it up i totally agree all right all right i'll talk to you tomorrow veronique thanks thank thanks. you thank you bye yeah um approval for a block party on blonde bond street to pleasant street jody has mandy so I do have an update about that. Update. Yes, because I, I was completely unaware of what the procedure is for this. I know the select board needs to approve it, um, but also, frankly, going through the chief of police and everybody else is really. And so um, Chief Lamette has already spoken with them and told them everything that they need to do to make it fine. So, you know, I'm kind of going with he says it's good. <laughs> that just seems like something that we shouldn't. Like it, it seems like the chief of police should approve yeah. that. Like I feel like I don't know why we have to be involved. This is a town road. It's your, your shutting off. 
Yeah, I, I, I think so. Okay. I so, think so. It's a steep street in the block party. <laughs> I think there's only about six houses okay. involved in this, so it's <laughs> not going to be huge. The, the, the thing is that, no you know, that, that in the, yes. the way that it, it that has been set up in the past, it's really up to the residents to like meet the chief and get the the the, the like it, you can't leave it up to the chief to collect the town property at the end of the thing and put it back in store and all that. That, that the residents should be making the chief's life easier. That should be part of it. Nobody goes on bond unless they live on bond. See why it would be a problem. Well, I mean, Kenny's okay with it. Yeah. I'm so, just... <laughs> I'll, I'll move to approve the block party on Bond Street, even though there's no date given in the uh, new. No, I just, in oh, general, I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe the 27th <laughs> of August, I believe. I'm going by then. Yeah, something like that. That's Saturday or something. It's a Saturday. It's Saturday. Right. So for Saturday, August 27th, it's work. Thereabouts. <laughs> So that was your motion? Yeah, we seconded it, didn't we? I second, yeah. All in favor? Aye. Uh, it's unanimous. Did we have the primary vote to approve and sign the primaries warrant? Was that Did one of the that? That's, that one. that's this one. Um, All right. So I move to approve and sign the state primaries warrant for 2022. I second that. All in favor? Aye. Right. So it's about for us to sign it. First of all, constables, police officers at each of the upcoming elections. So we've always had constables and police officers at every election. I don't understand. I know, and I asked Lori about yeah. this, but I guess the state requirements changed, and so now it's the select board who has to approve? Yes. As opposed to, she was saying perhaps the select board could just designate the town clerk and the chief of police <laughs> to go ahead and deal with it and make the appointments. Right. But I guess you would have to vote the authority to them. <clears throat> yeah, me. it's okay. Um, I, my, my pro, you know, I believe constables, uh, the constables cost the town a lot less than, than paid police officers, I believe. But I sometimes, well, they're one of the constables is both. So I don't, two of the constables are both. I don't know actually how that works. But, and it may be determined by who's available. Right. Those days. So it, um, but can you know that the election's coming up and that, uh, there's two of them this year. So do you want the select board to vote? Yes. yes. Chief Lamet the authority to no. You no. want to vote the, that that Chief Lament attends to the election with his, with as he sees fit. Okay. Let's so let's get start. that motion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <All right. laughs> I have one question on that. It's a 13 hour window. So is it typically two? And they'll split the shift? Yeah, from Sunday. I would think so. That's, That's also longer than when the polls are open. 7 a.m. to at least 8 p.m. Maybe they have to be like while well, they're still counting ballots. Maybe it's not just while the but we have a, we have a new electronic. We voted last year to do the electronic things so that the votes are tabulated without 
it's a much earlier evening, so I don't quite know all that, but um, uh, let Kenny deal with that. Okay, but how do you want, you don't want the motion to read that way, but can uh, you deal with it? <laughs> we, um, yeah, we make a motion to direct the police chief, Ken Lament, to attend to the elections in compliance with state law. Second. All in favor? Aye. Yes. Vote on appointment to the PERCOT. Nominate Phil. Since we love the PERCOT so much. <laughs> Um, so you're already all these things on the right. All those things and more. Um, yeah, the emergency management director, the emergency response coordinator is supposed to be the same person, so says for Cog's form. Um, and uh, and the counselor. Uh, we're all the last year. Suppose they're all me again. So I guess that's the motion. Well, I think, yeah, I moved to appoint Phil. And then the counselor, we get an alternate. It was, it has been, we did a fine job. Okay, yeah. Wait, wait, which one are we on? We're on the counselor, counselor and alternate. Alternate. Okay. Sorry, um, I thought you were talking about the E. And I actually, I actually did tell them that you, when I was there, I told them that you were going to be the alternate again. But it's now this is the real. This 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 actually involves your this consent is, before okay. it did not involve your consent. So um, consent to be an alter. All right. Second both does. Okay, so for the counselor and alternate counselor, it's so all in favor. Say aye. Aye. And then there was the CPHS. No, that one's the oversight board. Yeah, that one's been voted on by. Okay. The, the public health services one is the one that the Board of Health appoints. And the cooperative inspection program. Right, but sorry, who was it? I, so we got, we have you, did you vote? Sorry, for the emergency win. Okay, sorry, I didn't oh, get the yeah. vote recorded. Sorry, okay. Franklin County Cooperative Inspections Program. There's a committee, there's an advisory committee. Yeah, that's all. Who's, who's the representative previously? I think Bob. I think it was Bob. I believe it was. Um, and I mean, I know I get the, the, the reports from them on permits and everything that, you know, so, but it's not going to help. It's definitely. So. All right. This one is up for dibs. Anybody? Anybody? Interested? Yes. Yes. It promises to be intellectually stimulating. Scintillating. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, the advisory committee of the Franklin County Cooperative Inspections Program. So um, it's the one that comes around and inspects the restaurants. Okay. We, we no longer, right? No, that's, that's the public health services one. Oh, what Sorry, is, this is so like building permits and things like that, electric uh, use. So it's more, yeah. That's right up crap. Yeah. That shrug of the shoulders is the closest thing we're going to get to consent. Uh, yeah. All right. There you go. We have a winner. Winner, winner. It's Chris. Right. Uh, I move I move to appoint Chris. <laughs> I move to appoint Chris on behalf of the board. So so you second? I second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, there you go. I guess that does make sense if I'm on the capital improvement as well. Yeah. The unwritten rule that the person who's had the, your posi the well, position before you. Bob has very big shoes. <laughs> he does. Yeah. Very good. Um, 
Yeah. Items not anticipated 48 hours. No. Town administrator update. It's a very long one. I'm happy if you want to just read it and incorporate it into the minutes. I do that so I can read it. I read it. <laughs> I am more interested in um, obviously the transfer station at some point. Um, yeah, whenever she comes in for that meeting, I'll have plenty of questions. Oh, great. Yeah. yeah. When yeah. is that? On the 29th. Yeah, Janine is scheduled for the 29th. And, you know, honestly, if we can, I think we should earmark most of the meeting for that because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of questions. And if the select board is interested, we could kind of post that as a you know, bring the public in or listen to listen at least to the questions. Is this the volunteers or is it people yeah, work out there? Work there yeah, for sure. yeah. I think they should come in here for sure. Actually, that's a good idea. Well, they deal with Jan and Amy all the time, but right. yeah, I mean, they were trained by Jan and Amy for the OSHA. Right. Um, but, you know, Jan is just, she's been doing this for so long and she is such a wealth of knowledge and she knows all of the transfer stations and all the surrounding towns. So she has all this comparison information in her head, which I just think is something that, you know, be really valuable for the select board um, to learn from. And so now that it's been taken under the select board well, instead of the board of health. <laughs> I, last time I was there, uh, Tim and Jeff sat me down and they, they had a bunch of ideas about I guess, making it better, which is great. Yeah. Um, and uh, some point, I guess that's that the 29th is the time to really try to bring all those ideas out. There's room for improvement, just how we run things. And, um, what, what, they, what they have done, what, what Jeff and Tim have done is they, they are aware of how other towns are doing it. Mm -hmm. um, that makes more, you know, and, and I didn't know that there were these options, um, you know, that, that like that in Ashfield, they don't, I think it was Ashfield. You have to, whatever it is, whatever your, whatever fee you pay, you have to pay a town hall. And for, the only thing you do is give the attendance a receipt. Yeah, yeah. There are all kinds and, of things. And there's like wisdom that to that. There, there is. And oh. and again, Jan will be the one who will know how each of her transfer stations deals with money, whether any deal with cash anymore. All those kinds of things. Yeah, absolutely. There, there's definitely an appetite for the the staff there to rid themselves of the cash of the burden of dealing with cash and the deal the burden of dealing with customers. Mm -hmm. Um, chasing down customers for cash is also um, oh, well. Uh, this you know sticker stickers do stickers do oh that like, part of it stuff yeah. like that you know but just, I think the like the sign that Ron put up I think made a huge difference to have it right there so that it's like because that's the problem is that up there at the transfer station it's just them and the public and they can't see all of us sort of standing behind supporting what they're doing. Yeah. It's just that, you know, yeah. so to have signs like that, that basically say, no, yeah, you really have to have to stick around by August 1st and you can't come in, which is today, by the way. So everybody has to have it by Wednesday. <laughs> Email. But no questions on my... I, I mean... I well, had a question about um, just as far as the select board having to verify that homeowners still meet the criteria yeah. for owning like that, like what does that come into? Like, because I feel like that's really going to be you. It is, however. So basically, yeah, it, we went back and forth about this, but the, the bottom line is the state's going to send a template to me mm -hmm. um, that, that all the towns basically use for this, you know, and I'll basically every once a year, I'll put it on some calendar that says, okay, we've got to mm -hmm. send it out now. And, you know, either it'll come to you so that you can all mm -hmm. sign it, which I'm assuming it would be because it's coming from the select board. But all it really is, is I'll have to have some kind of tickler that tells me every year, okay, we'll just send out this letter now. And is that, is that like, is that like what kind of work do you have to do to verify that the homeowners Nothing. are making the All Nothing. we need to okay, do is so send a letter. Right. We went around and around about okay. that. And it's like, well, how do we verify this? Yeah, and they said, exactly. no, you don't have to worry about it. All you have to do is send a letter. So I'm like, okay. we did talk about that. Oh. The, the yeah. options are, and you know, insist on yeah. tax returns and Which is, financial, yeah. Yeah. and then yeah. do a financial no. analysis. Right. Right. Or send them 
a form yep. let them certify that they still are and get it there whatever so that's um and then my other question is about the the delabar project is that just kind of indefinitely on hold no 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 now we can actually get working on it so okay. the next thing is for going to be for us to go out to bid well actually i'm sorry the next step is going to be because we only just found this out right you know, Ron and I so we still have the money available to us we just can't it's a reimbursement grant re it's a, right so so the money can be reimbursed we just can't use the contractor that we thought we were going to use right this. okay which is a real unless we pay for it and it, right. it may be that we want to pay because this is the thing that was a little crazy is that you know they had developed the design and done all done the application all of this work mm -hmm. And now, because you know the procurement was done perfectly legitimately by Massachusetts state law, but right. not by the federal law, they're retroactively holding us hostage to that. Even though this was done back in 2016, here yeah, we are in 2022. Yeah. On top of which, I'm a little nervous about the costs coming in, um, simply because it's been six years yeah. and the pandemic and supplies and you know. But um, you know, Ron and his crew are going to be doing the majority of the work. So not knowing what will be, you know, and then GZA I believe, will be helping us with the permitting. We'd like to get um, Andrea Woods from the FERCOG to help us develop the RFP, you know, the bid uh, when we get to that. But first, that is an option I strongly support. Yeah, first, G, first GZA and and Ron need to sit down and say, okay, what's the work that we're doing in house, and then what work do we need to bid out, and then we'll work on the bid. But yeah, so we were really glad to get the extension. Questions. Select board member comments, concerns. Everybody. So I'll, I'll just address. So the something I did not address in the meeting attended by select board should also go in here. It's just, uh, we did we did the forensic autopsy meeting. Uh, about oh. the, the MVP <laughs> the, yeah. about the MVP grant. So the MVP grant was the giant all-encompassing grant for everything from the river stuff way down there to the river stuff here to the river stuff there to the uh gosh there was there was a whole lot of different components to it and that was of course one of the major problems um, but uh we, we, got, we did get to speak with one of the auditors of that, or re, the reviewers of the grant on behalf of the state who was given permission to discuss it with the rest of the It was very useful. Very useful conversation. We did we did learn how to do it. The, 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 weird, the very weird thing was, it was basically a redo. Of, they gave us that grant the year before. And it's what would have it's what would have paid for the purchase of 69 Main Street had the owners at the time been willing to sell. Of course, now they're begging to sell. Um, but um, at the time, they uh, you know, and, and that didn't go through because we were unable to buy that property. Um, so we had to turn that grant back in. So we basically applied for the same grant with the same big projects. Um, but in the meantime, they they lowered the max. So they used to be 75-25. And this past year, they started the new 90-10 split. So many more towns applied than previous. And the grant became much more competitive than it was. Um, and we did not get awarded the grant this year, um, which was a huge shock. Upsetting, very upsetting to me personally, just because the number of people involved in that process then like reassured me that like don't worry this was already approved they're going to approve it again well it doesn't work that way um it, it's all new eyes that get laid you know it's all new set of eyes on it and the fact that it was approved the year before has got nothing to do with anything anymore and the people looking at it couldn't find conway on a map and th these applications have to stand on their own they have to tell a convincing story they have to you, it has to be everything and, and then so and it it wasn't it just wasn't and um we could have gotten better advice we could have you know at the time um but we did the best we could with what we could keep, 
can only bake a cake with the ingredients you got. And we did our best. Um, and, but, and we got a lot of people and we're gonna be working with, with uh, Carrie Ann more this year. Mm -hmm. And um, especially when push comes to shove and to the writing of it and to the, before we submit it, um, this, and, and, and I already know, uh, she's going to be uh, a tough, ta much tougher taskmaster than uh, previous super adult supervision that we retain. Um, so, um, but, but I, I feel at least good about like I, the she she was really able to articulate the reasons why and um, and made sense. So, but but you know, we, and we can't. We can't do five different grants in one that are all different. What you know that in some involve planning, some involve implementation. It's just you're you have to pick. You have to pick, and we we yeah. So I we learned know. we learned a lot, and we we'll get it next year. So, but that was that was a big deal. It was a big need. We have any mail. Announcements. Next meeting is two weeks from tonight, August 15th. Monday, August 15th. Same place, same but that time. That. Motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 We are adjourned.